and see what this little campsite's like down here. You're going to drive in. Mm -hmm. You are? Yeah. You should see the view. Do you, want to, do you want me to go first so you, you can you can get it? No, I don't mind. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll film you falling down. Yeah, done. Welcome to our channel. We're Paul and Tan and we're escaping crowds travelling around Australia in our trophy. This episode we have no words as we travel to undoubtedly one of the most beautiful campsites that we've ever stayed at. There really are no words so we'll let the footage speak for itself. Please hit that like, subscribe and share button and stay tuned for more epic content. Enjoy the video. If you're watching our content on your big screen, subscribing isn't as easy as it is on your mobile device. To make it easy for you, we've added a QR code so all you have to do is scan it with your phone, it'll take you to our channel page, then hit subscribe. It's that easy. We appreciate your support. So we've just passed through a little town called Bridport which is lovely um, and we've just pulled up down to the beach to use the public toilets because tonight we are going off to camp in the Waterhouse Conservation Park which is a bit remote so it's blowing a gale out there so it might be um, I mean out there around it not on the um, not on that <laughs> who's that guy um, on the, we're in a very sheltered part now but it's very windy so I'm expecting it's going to be pretty windy out at the campground so we're going to drive out there and have a look um, so yeah we're just availing of the amenities at this place before we disappear off into the sunset um, I'm just saying we're using the amenities before we disappear off into the sunset so yeah, yeah so uh, it's I, nice down there. I don't know if Paul's got anything to chat about I'm just going to go well I've just been to the toilet so not a lot to say no, I'm just going to use the amenities so okay. in a minute ciao chips for an early dinner. Very nice. Yeah, that's good. Not having to worry about dinner when we get to where we're going. Yeah, so now we have hopped onto this gravel track in an area called the Waterhouse Conservation Area, I think. Um, there's a few campgrounds. We've got about 10 kilometers of this to go. And there's a few camps out there. So we're gonna try our luck. Um, apparently when the weather's behaving it's beautiful uh, hopefully it's not too windy we'll let you know once we get out there See what this little campsite's like down here. You're gonna drive in. Mm -hmm. You are? Yeah. You should see the view. Okay. Four wheel drive track or no? I don't Not think really. so, no. I mean if we can always come back out. There's nobody in there, there's two campsites. Okay. Giddy up. go and scout up around the point a bit further and then come back. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness, get a load of this. <coughs> Check out our campground views for the night here. Free camp in Tassie. How is that? I just bumped into some friends and apparently this water was so blue today, like aqua. So in the morning, I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. This is the Waterhouse Conservation Area. It is on the top north east uh, part of the coastline. Um, it is spectacular. So we've driven probably about 10 to 15 k's in from the main road. Um, reasonable track, a bit corrugated, but there's several little camp areas. We've looked at most of them and they're all fabulous. This one's a little bit more sheltered, but um, my goodness, what a find. Can't wait to show you around tomorrow when the sun is belting on us and keeping us warm because it's pretty chilly right now, although it looks fabulous. Um, what a great little spot. So we parked up with some friends just up the back there. You can probably see the rooftops. And there's a few little wallabies hanging around as well. So um, it's just so special. Um, there's a big wind farm in the distance on the very far side over there somewhere. It's just amazing. Um, these are the little treasures that we love. What a magical place. Doesn't get much better, does it? No. Free camping, hardly any people, good weather, wildlife. Yeah, doesn't get any better than this. This is why we do it, hey. Good morning, check this out. Look at the color of it. So it's just been high tide about an hour or so ago. So the water's come up quite a long way, but it's so clear. If it wasn't so chilly, I'd be in there, that's for sure. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer without. Look at that water. It looks like really great snorkeling water too, but the, it is freezing. So there's a little private beach around here and the color of the rocks. It's just, the colors are just incredible. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it's prob potentially one of the prettiest beaches that I've seen just with the backdrop as well. Um, it's just stunning. And it's, it's hidden, so I like that. There's no other people around here except for us that you can see. There's a few places tucked in around the coast. Um, yeah, you can't see anyone else. And there's no one buzzing around. So, and there's no boats. It's just brilliant. Just to give you some perspective, that's us up there. Camping with some friends. They're the fr our friends, Ryan and Lily are heading off today and we're gonna stay here another night. I mean, why would you, why would you not? Pretty much, it's a done deal I reckon. Where's all the water gone? 
This was all underwater this morning, pretty much. <laughs> We're going for a bit of an explore around the rocks over this side because the water's right out. As we reluctantly began our pack up to leave the Waterhouse Conservation Area, we dragged our feet a little as it really was hard to leave. Undoubtedly one of our favourite campsites, we really had no words to describe it. Make it a goal to go there if you're overlanding in Tassie. It's incredible.
Good morning, friends. Sadly, we're leaving a beautiful campsite at the Waterhouse Conservation Area today. It is an absolutely magical spot, one of our absolute favourites um, anywhere that we've been. Um, highly rate it, um, and the reasons are it's quiet, it's beautiful, there's some wildlife, the weather was great, we can't complain, the weather was perfect, and I know that's not something that's there all the time, but everything about it was just, yeah, just 10 out of 10. Um, could have easily stayed for a week, just chilling out. Yeah, just didn't want to go. <laughs> but we've got, where are we now? We've got eight days left on this beautiful island, and we've still got a bit to see. Um, thankfully, Paul's foot is a little bit better now, so he is able to drive. Um, I could have always driven still, but he, he likes to take charge of the wheel, and I'd prefer to navigate. So, yeah, so we're back on the road this morning. We're going to head back over to the east coast and hopefully nab a bit of a campground um, for tonight, possibly on the Bay of Fires if we can find one. And then we'll meander our way back across towards Cradle Mountain area um, and do a couple of long walks hopefully before we leave in eight days time so strap in enjoy the ride for the next few days um, and we'll show you more of when we get to the Bay of Fires and thankfully the weather is glorious again today so talk to you soon Would you say? Beautiful. Camp in perfection. I would call that the best campground I've had so far. Anywhere. Yeah. Um, as good as anywhere. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I actually just uh, said that when you were not in the car. I just said that that it was probably one of our top spots anywhere. Yeah. Fabulous. A bit sad to go, but oh look, kangaroos! Oh my god, they're jumping around everywhere. Oh, I'm back in front of the camera today, guys. Woo! So this is the visitor center for the uh, wind farm. Um, this is one of the blades, 44 meters long um, in the car park. And we're parked right underneath the turbine. You can hear the sound of it. It's incredible. It's quite windy up here, which is obviously perfect placement for these monstrous turbines. But I'll step back so you can See how small the troopy is in relation to this thing. My goodness, it just keeps on going. If you have a look around, you can see the positioning of this place. I don't know about you, but I just love the colours of these places. The yellow and the blue and yeah, it's pretty nice. They even go back over this way too. 
we are heading into the locality of Payangana. So we're not too far out of St. Helens. So stop for lunch. Yeah. We haven't really had breakfast this morning. We kind of sadly left our lovely camp spot and just kind of a cup of coffee and a banana. So we're kind of a bit hungry. Just in case you haven't realized Paul's back at the wheel. I'm sure you already realized that, but I'm sort of glad I'm not driving today because some of these hills are a bit, yeah. But anyway, I'm sure I would have been fine, but hey, I would have, but it's just, yeah, I'd rather have the, have the Admiral in charge instead of the, the lowly person, <laughs> whatever I am. <laughs> I don't really know. Anyway, look. The what? Co-pilot. Co-pilot. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not very good at. I'm not overly confident on roads. I don't know. But anyway, this place. Oh my God, Pine Ghana. So this is the area where there is the pub in the paddock, which we've been to before, and that gorgeous little recreation ground that we camped on as well, um, which we really enjoyed. Um, lovely area. Very uh, rural, but cute. Very cute little place. Hey guys, we've just um, set up camp um, and this is the beach that is across the little track from our campground. Um, can we get down? Oh. Yeah. Okay. You're going to go first? Or do you, want to, do you want me to go first so you, you, can, you can get it? No, I don't mind. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll film you falling down. Yeah, done. Gonna happen smells, eh? Smells. Smells a bit seaweedy. Oh yeah. Yeah, well it is a bit seaweed. Look at the colour of the water though. And the rocks. <laughs> the famous rocks. Guess where we are? Anyone? Guess is anyone? Okay. I think, and don't quote me on this because I will check, that we are at Seaton's Cove. Little campground holds about three or four vehicles. Um, in at, on the Bay of Fires. Um, so probably by tonight that'll be 20. Yeah, um, got to be honest, I'm just going to be really honest here. Every single person who I have seen come to the Bay of Fires on YouTube has given us the impression that there's actually never anyone here. Like the campgrounds are empty. This is our second attempt. We've crossed the entire island to come back after the kids are back at school and we drove up and it's absolutely flipping packed again we came on australia day weekend which i get is busy and we thought we'll wait a couple of weeks and come back and it's absolutely cram packed to the rafters again the, the main ones that's the cozy corner yeah cozy, cozy corners, corners swim cart beach sloop reef, sloop reef all of those chocker block. block again anyway, so we're in here, we found this one which is right next to sloop reef um and it's uh well we were lucky because it's tucked up in a corner um sorry i'm just trying to work my way across the rocks it's tucked up in a corner and um it's kind of a little bit hidden but we've managed to level up really interestingly paul's managed to oh what's that hey look at this guy probably not very friendly anymore because he's dead but mm. um yeah so we've managed to get a corner spot and it's quite windy here and where we're parked it's not windy at all so it's actually pretty good so um yeah it's i don't know like it is beautiful here but Join us next episode to find out where we're heading and what we get up to. 
Thanks again for watching and your support through hitting that like and subscribe button is very much appreciated. If you're keen to watch some of our other trip episodes, here are some links. Thanks again and we'll see you all next week. Cheers!